Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to estimate the sample size for continuous data. As you can see we have a situation uh, presented here. A project team wants to estimate the sample size for data collection for diameter of tubes which turns out to be the focus area for the project. Past studies have revealed a standard deviation of 0.5 mm. Um, the project team wants to know the sample size for uh, um, errors of 0.025 millimeter and 0.015 millimeter. Basically, to estimate the sample size for a, a sample collection activity or a data collection activity, all you need to know is uh, the standard deviation and the margin of error of the uh, errors which which result from a sampling activity. So this is how we do it in Minitab. We click on Start. We click on power and sample size and we click on sample size for estimation. Now when we click on, sam uh, on sample size for estimation, uh, you see the parameter here is mean and that should be the, the standard parameter for uh, determining sample sizes of uh, continuous data. In standard deviation, I'm going to put the standard deviation which has been 0.5 millimeter which has been the estimate. And uh, in margin of error, I'm going to put 0.025. Let me click on options and see what's up there. Yes, the confidence level should be 95% at all times and we have a two-sided confidence in that. So that's fine. And I'm going to click on OK. Oh, OK, fine. So we've got that. Uh, as you can see, if we collect 1540 uh, samples or data collection uh, data points we will have a margin of error uh, rather we can be sure that the, the sample mean plus minus 0 0.025 will uh, at about 95 percent of the time represent the population mean. Uh, let me try and uh, change the margin of error power and sample size again and i'm going to go here and press 0.015 and when I do that you see here uh, my sample size has automatically increased uh, from about uh, from about 1540 to about 4271 and that's because you uh, uh, the, the margin of error is very less so what it goes to show is when you increase the sample size the margin of error reduces and obviously when the margin of error reduces the confidence of uh, predicting the sample will uh, uh, will increase the lesser the error better the prediction uh, from the sample so that's about it from Vishy uh, this video is presented from the school of continuous improvement keep watching this channel for more updates and, uh, and more usage of, uh, of tools which will be uploaded in the coming days. Thank you.